All right, guys, how's it going? It's the 17th of November, 2019. It's your unofficial Blender news. Don't worry, I've not forgotten about you guys. I'm just slowly dying with man flu. So let's try and get this done in one take. <laughs> Never happening, man. Blender 2.81 Beacon 4 is now officially here. So, in terms of Blender 2.81, it does seem they're closing up, fixing bugs, close to 50 bug fixes, no new features, so I don't think they're going to do much in the way of 2.81. They're putting together a roadmap for 2.82, and this is where a general bulk of the work will be going. So, new features for 2.82. Sequencer, open file browser sidebar by default when adding external strips. User interface, graph editor, insert, keyframe menus, pretty good. Python API changes. Alembic improved import slash export of mesh normals. Now I noticed there was a problem with this a couple of weeks back, so I'm quite glad that they fixed this. Constraints stretch to implement a mode similar to dampen track. Solidify modifier support non manifold import and preferences. When the developer extras are enabled in the interface tab, a new experimental tab is shown. It will contain non production ready features that need feedback and design and iterations. That's a pretty good feature to be fair. So like I says, most of the development focus is now in 2.82, which is fair enough. So in other news, Seattle Blender user group, December the 7th. That'll be good if you live in Seattle. And believe it or not, it's Blender Day in Poland on November the 23rd. Now, if you're Polish, happy Blender Day. Let's just jump straight into tutorials before my head actually explodes. CG Matter, create a pin art fast in Blender tutorial. So this is an old technique, but it's essentially displacing, might be instances, it might be just points, who knows. Check it out, it's from CG Matter. Next one up, Expose Academy, that's quite risky sounding. How to bend objects correctly in Blender 2.8. Quite good, kinda shows you the fundamentals of why things actually bend. Check that out if you haven't already. Ducky 3D, you know this is going to be good. Blender Surface Imperfection Tutorial, Procedural Shading. Well done, Ducky, looks good, mate. This is from Derek Elliott, 3D text in Blender 2.82. I kind of thought most text was 3D in Blender, but hey, looks like a good tutorial. And I'm just throwing this curveball straight in. Blender Conference 2008 Speed Sculpting. So this is actually quite a good presentation, it's over an hour long. And if you ever want to get into sculpting or learn how Blender sculpting, it's probably quite a good talk to watch. Lattices in Blender Introduction slash Beginner Guide, Level Pixel Level. Check that one out as well. Remember, all links in the description down below. And this is from Mark on 3D, How to Create a City, Scene Blender, and Blender Add-on Review and Tutorial. So this is a kind of tutorial slash add-on review. Next one up is from Jonathan Cron, Blender Mantle Flow Serial Animation. So obviously you've got Mantle Flow inside Blender, there's a special build. You download that build and you can use this. And it's pretty much a fluid simulation. Uh, is it better than flip fluids? I don't honestly, I can't honestly give an honest opinion. Uh, if you're going to do fluids, I recommend Houdini, to be fair. Next one up, Blender 2.8 Shader Tutorial Cyberpunk. Now this one looks really good. Uh, and this is from Casper Art. And this kind of goes back to a user question, and this is from Gleb Alexandrov. Hard Ops Overview, Hard Surface Modeling in Blender 2.8. So this is a nice introduction to how to use a Hard Ops plugin. And I suppose we better move on to add-ons. Generate Space Stations in Blender 2.8. This is from Curtis Holt. There is a free version, and there also is a paid version, I do believe. In fact, I played around with the script a couple of days ago, here's a render for you, not bad. And I'm kind of glad that I'm late with this. Weaver, Procedural Texture Shader in Blender, this is really nice. And it's on Gumroad, and it's essentially, I think it was part of November. And the guy's basically put his set up on Gumroad, and it's pretty damn good. And just to throw in another one for you, it's on GitHub. <laughs> it's called FS Tools, it's a collection of Pi menus to accommodate a fast and efficient workflow and full screen. So just a basic Pi menu script, uh, just thought I'd throw that one in the mixer for you guys. So moving on to Blender Market, now I haven't seen much regarding this plugin, uh, so if you've used it, stick a comment down below. And it's Blender Sculpt, I can't pronounce the second name, I can't even speak at the moment. 
And I thought I would give you a heads up. It's thirty six dollars if you've not seen it before. And just another quick commercial plug in, smart duplication, six dollars twenty five. If you've bought it, let me know if it's any good. Unlike normal duplication, smart duplication tracks the relationship between objects and takes them into account. Fair enough, and it looks alright. And just to give you another heads up, I believe Mass FX is nearly ready to launch. There was a couple of tweets about it today. Uh, looks pretty damn good. And let's just move on to Animation of the Week. Animation of the Week. Oh my god. Even my singing's terrible to do. <laughs> and this is called Keys. It's an animated short film. And I'm recommending this because the workload that went in. And this is from Oliver. Hi everyone, I made an animated short film called Keys in Blender 3D Eve. Now I love the mixture of techniques. You've got 3D animation, you've got 2D drawn animation, you've even got sculpting I believe. Beautiful animation mate. And to make a 5 minute animation by yourself and you keep up that quality is a pretty difficult thing to do. So well done guys, check it out, highly recommend. And moving on to Artist of the Week. And this is Mason Menzies. And he uses Made With Blender, ZBrush and Photoshop using the Rocks Essential and Pro Lighting Skies from Blender Guru. And that's just stunning render, mate. And that's pretty much your unofficial Blender news for the week. Do me a favour, guys. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm away to go and die. You know what to do. Peace.